Hey guys, so as you might know, it is FNAF's 10th anniversary today. So I thought I'd celebrate with a room tour and also an unboxing, so let's be in. So I have these ordered by character, so there's Cupcakes, Chica, my Freddies, my Foxies, my Bonnies, and then my Extras. So I actually have a Jumbo Vanny, and then here's the Extras. Here are my holiday plushies, with some others mixed in there. Here we have other randoms, like the balloon circus and tie-dye stuff. And then, Nightmare Bonnie. Um, here we have the puppet. Cupcake and a FNAF movie poster. Here are other posters, so here's the ultimate group and celebrate one. Along with the security breach poster. Here is my YouTube collection, so we have MatPat, Eclipse, and Chrome Freddy, PAX West stuff, and then my GameStop Fightline exclusives, a Sanchi Freddy I bought at PAX, and my PAX West badge. Here I have a Funtime Freddy Pop, my custom Shadow Bonnie, a bunch of Snaps, Snaps playset, and then the custom Snaps playset I made. Uh, we have a bunch of Pops back there. Roxy U2s, Biddy Pops, and a bunch more Funko Pops. Um, I don't know who the old man is. Here we have extra figures I just don't have room for. Um, yeah, and Bendy's back there, because why not? Can never go wrong. Um, this section is a mess, but here we have my Balloon Circus figures. My Mystery Minis and those two guys. And then we have System Air Bonnie, which fell over. Circus Foxy. And then a bunch of spring trap limbs just laying around. I also have a fight line just out of the bottom shelf. Here's the advent calendar pint size heroes. And this is also a mess, but we have Bonnie the Bunny, Captain Foxy, Freddy Fazbear, Ballora, Golden Freddy, which has a broken arm. Which has which is taped. Chica, which also has a broken arm and is also taped. And then we have Toxic Springtrap. We have Vanny. And then a Spanish translation of Into the Pit. And we have Dreadbear with a custom thing I made for him. And then I also have Santa Freddy at the bottom of my shelf. But let's get to the unboxings I have. So as you can see guys, we don't have too much, but we do have a lot of stuff. So let's start with the Funko Snaps. So here is the Glamrock Chica Snap. She's actually like really well done. Her guitar is a bit massive, but her alternative face is actually like really awesome. Okay, uh, we had difficulties, but here's the second face, and it is her shattered. It actually looks really creepy. So um, I guess let's go to Monty. Here is the Monty snap, and his guitar is massive. Like, dude, come on. Could they have made them a little bit smaller? Because, like, I don't think he can even stand. Yeah, look, the guitar throws him off balance. And I think his face is actually easier to come off. Yep. His face is easier to get rid of than Chica's. So, gotta grab the second one. I'm gonna rip off his legs. So the recording decided to cut off the second I cut off his legs, so... Well, here is the Shattered Monty. Looks pretty good. Oh, I actually forgot to show you guys. Under the character's masks, they actually have the, um, the Glamrock Endo. So, yeah, look. Here's Monty's. And I don't really have to take Chica's face out because half of it's already destroyed. But... Oh, okay. I can show you Chica's. It's a little more compact because of her head, but it's still pretty good. Um, let's go with Chocolate Chica next. Here is Chocolate Chica. Um, she looks kind of kind of mid. Um, it's just another Funko OC. Oh, hello, hello. Um. I do like how she has bites taken out of her. 
But what sucks is that she doesn't really have an endo. Like the other two chocolate figures, but I like her teeth. They're multicolored. Um, yeah, she's okay, but she doesn't really exist. Um, no existence? Um, just another Funko OC, so dead. Let's go with Tide Eye Foxy. Alright, so here's Tide Eye Foxy, and that sure is Tide Eye Foxy, but uh, he probably had the worst downgrade in history from the product image. This is what he looks like in person, and um, on that side, that's how he's supposed to look like. Yikes! Um, yeah, uh, yeah, he kind of, he's kind, he kind of sucks, but I mean, he was five dollars, so can't go wrong with the deal. Uh, let's go with you. Here is Tiny Bonnie, and again, <laughs> that that sure is Tiny Bonnie. I don't really know what to say about these things aside from. They're the classics, but tie dye. Um, this is probably the best out of the four tie dyes, personally. Uh, well, actually, second because I, I like Springtrap. We love Springtrap. Um, yeah. Uh, sure is tie dye, Bonnie. Let's get to Big Freddy. All right. Sorry if the audio changes a little, but it's because I need two hands because this dude is fat. Um. <laughs> you want this microphone? Uh, he's actually like really cool though. Like no joke. His jaw moves. Om nom nom. Frontal lobe, please. Waiter. Wait. Waiter. Waiter. More frontal lobe. Um. He does have his microphone. He still sucks at holding it. Uh, ooh, microphone. He actually has like decent leg movement now. His feet actually spin too, not just his um, bottom leg. Um, his head actually like moves. You can, you can actually like put in some decent emotion. Um, his hands have secret joints, sort of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that one render of him. Yeah, no, but I'd actually like really recommend buying him. He's awesome. And he's a big fella. Um, nom, nom. Yeah, if you, if you couldn't tell somehow, I really like the fact that his, his mouth moves. Why is he so close up? Let me see that frontal lobe. Um, but yeah, that is Jumbo Freddy. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy your FNAF. 10th anniversary celebration and I hope you do something fun um have a good night have a good day whatever you're watching this have a good day subscribe by the way